I am. Uh, good morning, Uncle Lou here. Uh, that's right. Uh, it's time for another uh, TTC video. Uh, the BWO uh, taking over here. Uh, the Bulldog World Order. Uh, Thirty days away uh, from the Clemson game here, uh, and Uncle Lou getting a little irritated. Uh, with the same regurgitated mumbo jumbo, uh, dribbling out of the mouths, uh, of these few Clemson fans, uh, that keep rambling on, uh, with these YouTube videos here. Uh, now, uh, if you've managed to make it through one of these videos, uh, then God bless you. Uh, you have more patience than Uncle Lou. Uh, watching these people make Clemson videos uh, is like watching a five-year-old uh, try to convince someone that Fruit Loops are better than steak. Uh, I don't get it. These people can't even string a sentence together uh, that makes sense. Uh, some knucklehead yesterday or, or the other day or, or whenever it was uh, went on some tirade about Clemson's new... Uh, fast-paced, no-hurry offense, uh, which apparently is some newfangled scheme uh, that they're working on there in Clemson. Uh, now, uh, everyone knows uh, that these people are not the brightest bulbs, uh, but, uh, I mean, uh, these people uh, are giving uh, special needs kids um, a bad name uh, it's just ridiculous the same crap that they keep spewing uh, over and over again I mean uh, for God's sakes they have to paint kitty cat claws on the street so people can find the friggin stadium up there uh, it's ridiculous uh, but anyway uh, there's a lot of uh, talk going back and forth uh, about Hudson Mason uh, and Cole Doubt stout uh, and who's better uh, or who's less worse uh, if you want Uncle Lou's honest opinion on the matter and I'm pretty sure that you do uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you uh, because I can uh, and that's what I want to do so that's what I'm going to do my opinion on the quarterback situation at both schools uh, neither school really has anything to brag about with the quarterback situation here uh, both these kids I think are fifth year seniors uh, I know Hudson Mason is uh, cold out I guess been there a while too uh, in 2014 uh, if you're a fifth year senior and you're just starting then you're not very good that's just the bottom line I'm sure these kids know the offense as well because they've been studying them for four years, but if you have any talent at all, uh, any real talent, uh, any potential NFL talent, you're not riding the bench behind somebody else for four years. It's just not happening. Uh, you either start at the school that you're out or you transfer to another school, period. Um, that's, that's my opinion. Um, so I think uh, at least Hudson Mason uh, will be competent enough uh, to run the offense. Uh, Cold doubt, uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, yep, uh, but even Uncle Lou can turn around and hand the ball off to Todd Gurley uh, or Keith Marshall uh, or Nick Chubb uh, or Sony Michael or Sony Michelle. I don't know if he's French or what, and I don't care. Uh, point is, he's good and he plays for the dogs. Uh, yep, uh, even Brendan Douglas, uh, number 22, uh, who's white and still better than any running back at Clemson, uh, which is embarrassing uh, for you. Uh, but uh, as, as far as the running backs go, any, any objective opinion on the matter is going to give that hands down to UGA. It's not even close. Um, there are four running backs minimum uh, on UGA's roster uh, that would start at Clemson tomorrow uh, if they were there. And if you say otherwise, you're just a homer, plain and simple. There's no two ways about it. Um, Todd Gurley, Keith Marshall, Nick Chubb, and Sony, Michelle or Michael, whatever his name is, 
uh, are better than any running back at Clemson. Uh, it's not up for debate. Um, it's not even close. Uh, and that's just a fact, period. Uh, you can write that down. Uh, I think it was this same knucklehead also made a prediction that Todd Gurley would have less than 70 yards rushing and at most one touchdown against Clemson. Uh, I don't even think that needs to be dignified with a response, uh, but I'll go ahead and do it anyway. Uh, UGA will have 250 yards rushing at least. Uh, that's a minimum period. Uh, it would not surprise Uncle Lou at all if we had two different running backs go over 100 yards in this game. Uh, somebody mentioned that we're going to be cramping up or something else silly like that. Uh, what you people don't understand, uh, because you're in the ACC, so I don't hold it against you that you don't understand this, uh, you know, because you don't need to understand this being in the ACC. Uh, but in the SEC, you have to recruit three deep at every position. It's just that simple, period. Uh, and in the SEC, it's no problem to do that because high school studs are lined up uh, by the thousands uh, wanting to come to SEC schools. It's, it's just the way it is. Uh, I don't make the rules. Uh, I just tell you what they are. Uh, and the rules are, uh, they all want to play in the SEC, period. Uh, doesn't matter, skill position, defense, offense, uh, defensive line, offensive line. Uh, if they can get into an SEC school, that's what they're going to do. Uh, if they don't go to, the, to an SEC school, there's only two reasons. Reason one, no SEC school wants them. Uh, reason two, uh, they're afraid they won't start or play. Uh, in an SEC school, uh, AC, uh, Clemson in particular wants to be in the SEC so bad they can't stand it. Uh, when the SEC announced a couple of years ago they were going to go ahead and expand to 14 teams, uh, Clemson drooled for six or eight months at the opportunity. Uh, of course, they didn't get it, uh, but uh, you're not you're not SEC material. Period. Uh, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, you can't beat South Carolina, uh, which has been an SEC punching bag for 25 years. Uh, so it's, it's just not happening. Uh, so cramps or not, uh, if someone cramps up, it's next man up. That's simple. Uh, at UGA, we don't make excuses, period. Uh, if you start, that's great. If you're next in line, you better be ready to go because whether it's injuries or cramps or whatever it might be, uh, I'm not making any excuses. If Todd Gurley gets hurt, then Keith Marshall better be ready to go. Uh, if he cramps up, then uh, one of these two freshmen better be ready to go, period. It's that simple. I'm not making excuses. If, if Hudson Mason gets knocked out of the game, then we better have somebody behind him too, which we do. Uh, so I, those excuses are just that, excuses. Uh, and, and like I say, these are things that work in the ACC where you're doing, your, you, you know, you're doing a good job to just be able to recruit one deep over there. Uh, like I said, in the SEC, we recruit three deep, so it's no big deal. Uh, every year, people get drafted out of the SEC who never started a game. Uh, it's just the way it is, period. Uh, that's where all the talent and depth are. Everybody knows this. Uh, you know, it's, it's, there's no gray area here. It's black and white, period. Uh, so I'm getting a little bit tired uh, of hearing these... Uh, these Clemson apologists uh, with all their excuses uh, but the good news is we're 30 days away uh, we'll find out then for sure who's right and who's wrong I'll give you a hint Uncle Lou is right uh, and you're wrong uh, Georgia will win this game uh, I'm not ready to make a prediction on the score yet but I don't think it will be close uh, meaning I think it will be uh, more than one touchdown. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all uh, if we beat them somewhere between 10 to 14. Uh, wouldn't surprise me at all. Uh, Clemson is way overmatched in this game. Uh, they lost too many people on offense, and like I said, they don't have people ready to step up. Uh, they recruit one deep there, so to lose a Taj Boyd and a Sammy Watkins, that's not something that Clemson can replace in one season. It's just not going to happen, period. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't look forward to be a close game. Uh, I look forward to be somewhere in the 10 to 14 point range. Uh, I'll have a score prediction when it gets a little closer to the game. Uh, as far as the suspensions go, I already made a video on that. Uh, I'm not happy about the suspensions. I don't like it. Uh, I wish it didn't happen. Uh, I'm not going to make any excuses uh, as far as uh, how our defense is going to perform now because we lost those people. Uh, I said it before. I'll say it again. Good riddance. 
Uh, don't let it hit you where the good Lord split you. Get out. Uh, don't want you. Don't need you. Uh, get right or get out. It's that simple. Uh, so, uh, yep, I'm going to go ahead and whoop you anyway. Uh, Clemson, no big deal. Uh, so, anyway, I got to get out of here. Uh, but before I do, I'm going to include a couple of clips here at the end for you. Uh, I showed you um, yesterday. Uh, in yesterday's video, uh, as I was floating in the lazy river like a boss, uh, the Clemson fan that I spotted, well, guess what? They followed Uncle Lou down to the beach today uh, and uh, have something to show you there, so be sure you watch that. Uh, but anyway, uh, until next time, uh, go dogs and good morning. Uncle Lou Ham, uh, warning, uh, what you are about to see, uh, is graphic, uh, and not for the faint of heart, uh, but, uh, the Clemson fan that I spotted yesterday, uh, at the Lazy River has followed Uncle Lou down to the beach today, uh, what you're about to see may be disturbing to some viewers, but here you go. Nephew Louie in the sand today. Uh, actually, Mermaid Louie. Uh, how was this for you there, Louie? It was disgusting and amazing. Both at the same time. That's right. There's nothing uh, Nephew Louie can't Lou do. Lou Jr., how do you feel about being buried in the sand, sir? That's what's up.